Hi everyone, my name is Akila and I am the UC Sales Engineer here at Blue Chip IT. By now you have probably seen our previous video on how to set up an SBC router phone for 3CX version 18. But here is the thing, with the new version 20 update, things have changed a bit but don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to configure the SPC router phone in 3CX version 20 step by step. First, log into your 3CX admin console. Once you're in, go to the admin icon and then click users. Find the user who will be using the phone, then select the IP phone tab. Click configure a phone and from the drop down, select the phone's make and model. For this demo, I'm selecting the Yealing T54W, which is a router phone. Next, enter the phone's MAC address, which you can find it on the sticker back of the device. Click next and choose connect directly. Once done, click OK. Remember the first router phone in 3CX admin console should be set up as an SBC. You can also set multiple 3CX router phones as an SBC too. Then the IP phones will connect later through this SBC. Now reboot the phone so it can pull the configuration from the 3CX server. Once restarted, it will register automatically as a router phone. So while the phone reboots, let's talk about 3CX supported SBC router phones. These phones have an SBC built in so you don't need additional hardware. You can connect up to 10 phones saving cost and simplifying setup. Also with 3CX RPS which is redirected provisioning service you, your phone's mac address links to the provisioning url automatically this means the phone grabs its setup information and register itself saving time and reducing errors and finally as you can see here the router phone started showing the username along with the extension So once provisioning is complete, you'll get a link to access the phone's GUI. Check if your phone is running on the latest firmware version. You can find the firmware on the 3CX website and I'll share the link below just to have an easy access. And it is always recommended to keep your phone on to the latest firmware because updates often include of critical bug fixes, improved features and enhanced security. So once the SBC router phone is registered and provisioned in the 3CX admin console, it will automatically appear in the voice and chat menu. If you are wondering which router phone are supported by 3CX, for a complete list of supported phones, visit the 3CX website. I've shared the link below for this too. And that's it for the video. Your router phone is all set up and ready to go. I hope this video made the steps simple and easy for you. For any further assistance, please reach out to us at uc at bluechipid.co.nz and see you next time. Bye.